The body camera footage from West Pierce Fire and Rescue shows firefighters climbing through dense brush and fallen trees to get to the crash site. Apparently a 76 passenger plane got hijacked at SeaTac and either crashed or was shot down over on Ketron Island. The video was shot from helmet cameras, dash cameras, and work cell phones. Despite the timing of the crash in August, during prime fire season, the fires were mostly small and scattered. According to the rep, uh, there's 550 pounds of fuel on board, which apparently is not much for an aircraft. The photos show some of the most compelling images. You can see how tree trunks were sheared in half by the impact of the crash. Parts of the Dash 8 littered through the debris field. Having to rely on the ferry system for transport, the first 40 firefighters were forced to stay at the scene that night, sleeping outside on the ground. All of this was the fallout of a security failure at SeaTac on August 10th. Do you seem comfortable with that? Oh, hell yeah, it's a blast, man. I played video games before, so I, uh, you know, I know what I'm doing a little bit. Earlier this week, the FBI released its investigation that concluded 28-year-old ramp agent Richard Russell stole a Horizon airplane and intentionally crashed it into the south end of Ketron Island. Firefighters point to the footage of this tractor at work, a property owner who volunteered to help clear a crucial road for crews to access the scene. The video released today is another testament to diligent teamwork and perseverance. Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.